Hi Aquarius, it's L here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so we're going to start with love, Aquarius. All right, let's see what's going on for love for Aquarius. Everybody wants to know. Inquiring minds, what's going on? Okay, Queen of Cups, Page of Wands. What else do we have? The Magician, Ten of Cups. All right, so somebody wants. This could be you, Aquarius. It could be the other person. Somebody wants the other person back. They want to make up. You know, they want to see how far they can get with you. They may even want to communicate with you. You might receive a message. It could come around the springtime. This person has something to say to you, to release to you. Aquarius, you may be kind of closed off to this. Kind of more so trusting you your intuition and how you feel about the situation like it might be something that you don't want to engage in but this person is thinking of you heavenly they're thinking of what they'll say to you when they get the opportunity to be in your presence how they'll sell themselves or sell you a dream or get you back on board this person definitely found happiness with you. Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. They definitely found, you know, a level of happiness with you. Okay? Um, they want this back. They feel like with you, the stage is set for happiness. It's just set for enjoyment, peace, and serenity. They also... If there's been problems between the two of you, they want to call a truce. Like, let's just let it die. You know, the drama die, not the relationship. Yeah, this, def this person definitely wants to reconcile with you. This could be same sex, too. They want you back. They want the relationship back. Um, you could even want to take you out, show you off. looks like uh, Aquarius if this person does get the opportunity to talk to you to be in your presence they're going to be met with opposition they're going to be met with truth and clarity you'll give them the stage to say whatever it is they want to say to you but at the same time if it doesn't make sense then you're going to really be very firm with them and tell them that you know it's a no-go you also may inquire with this person about maybe another relationship that they were engaged in is that still going is there still a third party let's see what else is going on here for Aquarius and love so it just looks like somebody wants to talk to you wow this flipped onto the floor person says anything they will say anything and we see that with the magician here so keep that in mind you know um, this person could say anything to you uh, because they want you desperately there's a almost like an energy of desperation or an energy of feeling like you're getting away something is fading or, or you've got your guards up so they have to say what it is they think you want to hear to get you back you could be dealing with anybody here. It looks like all signs are on the board. Yeah, loud mouth. They may even try to get pushy, loud with you, maybe aggressive. Um, it may come off as passionate, but it's aggressive, or it could be come off as both. You may be seeing through this person, Aquarius, that this, this situation is just hard to handle. Or they may be seeing it, it's hard to get a handle on you now. They can't break down your barriers because maybe your trust is broken. You're seeing something clear. 
this person was a snake this with them shedding their skin you're really seeing them clearly something could have happened around valentine's day i don't know something about you really it all making sense that maybe you need to be involved in something more a relationship that is more healthy um You're not healthy. You could have told this person they're not healthy. Something about the health of the relationship of the person, of just the whole dynamic. You just saw that I just, I need to eat more veggies. I need to be more healthy. This person saw that you made them happy. You also realized that, you know, you were hard headed. Maybe you thought for a minute that they would change. Yeah. You thought they would change that they would see the light or there will be some change or there'll be an opportunity for things to start over. This person would be more kind to you. But now you're seeing that you're seeing through, the, you know, through them or you see through to, you may be saying that to them. You know, I see through to you or I'm seeing through you. Whomever this is, they're just not able to maintain a relationship because it's just not in them. They need guidance, healing. At one time, you could have had like a wealthy relationship or a wealthy marriage with this person. Or there was a lot of promise or maybe you thought you were going to get with them and make a lot of money. But this person was out for themselves. It was a great deal of self-interest. They were just a taker. They didn't give anything back. They like the dynamic of dating, either you and other people. This person could, again, be bisexual, gay, lesbian. Yeah, they were doing all of this while in a marriage here. There was something or someone that came in between you and this connection, Aquarius. Um, it caused strife. This person also, this could have been a soulmate. And they, maybe they didn't choose the soulmate journey. The one thing about this is it has long lasting repercussions or implications or you just never get over this person. You never really stop thinking about this soulmate if you didn't choose this person. Even if you move on, get married, have a kid, buy a dog, move across the world, you still think about this one person because you know that there was something off. You didn't choose. You didn't do something right. Let's see what the soulmate deck has to tell you. Oh, okay. So is this person coming back? Will this person reach out to the Aquarius? Yes, yeah, Six of Swords. They see that you aren't moving, but they also see that there's nobody or nothing above you. Like you're a threat to each and every woman that they deal with or every man that they deal with in a romantic capacity. Like you just, they, they can't get over you because there's a level of, um, I mean, there's everything in you in the high priestess, mystery, wisdom, sex appeal, This person definitely wants to come back to you, they, but they know that the, the decision is in your, you know, the, the, the decision is uh, on you. It's about you. You have to decide if you want to renew this relationship or forgive them or let them come back or have reconciliation. They know that it, it, they don't make the decision here, but they're, they're going to come back to you. They want to maybe ask for your forgiveness they want to reconcile they want to move on they feel like it's time it just makes sense to move on to come back to you yeah this person definitely wants you to just be quick fast and in a hurry about allowing them to come back like you know give them an answer right now what is this person going through? What, how is this person's life right now? 
yeah, the Knight of Swords, Nine of Swords. So they're going through some tests, some trials, Page of Swords at the bottom of the deck. They could be spying on you. They have other people spying on you. They could even be pulling cards for the Tarot or going to a practitioner or maybe looking at tarot card readings. Um, there's an energy of wanting to talk to you, but knowing that uh, it could lead to argument. So they keep the communication down or, or you guys don't communicate at all. They know that when they come back to you, they're going to have to be witty. You're going to have to be calculated. The relationship is very one of intellect and cerebral. It's like, this person has to be on point when they come to you and they know this it's like they want to do this dance with you forever we got this eagle showing up here the bald eagle they mate for life unless one of you know the other mate dies or anything something like that but they mate for life they don't get a new person or a new eagle you also have a, a snake coming up we, we said shed skin back here i don't know if you feel like this person did some real grimy stuff or they just kind of like snakeish you just couldn't trust you know their motives or their or you felt like they had ulterior motive or you just couldn't trust um what it is they wanted from you or maybe they betrayed you or backstabbed you um maybe this betrayal and this backstabbing is kind of like <clears throat> showing up in their lives is coming back to them This person could be trying to cook up a scheme, a plan to come back to you. They feel that you're getting away. You're moving away and they know they have to do something big to pull you back in. They're very calculated with all of these nine, excuse me, with these swords cards. They could be kind of isolated too. They don't like not being able to talk to you, to have access to you. Something is driving them crazy. It's all falling down. It's all crumbling down with all of these swords cards here. They could even be having financial troubles, like worries or having difficulty keeping up. It's like they're hell bent on getting you back. You're their good luck charm or something like that. Or with you, it was just better. They want to persuade you. Um, they want to come back to you, persuade you. Um, yeah, persuade you to come back. like they're, they're trying to be all up in your business about what you're doing they could have been dealing with some shady characters a thug they could be a thug this also got here that this person's going to try to come back and kind of like strong strong arm you it's like they want you to make a decision on them real quick like i don't know like twist your arm if you will it's i don't know this person is really going to be very passionate because they're definitely studying you spying on you money is is tight as we we talked about okay they don't feel like this is over they just feel like it's suspended they want to come back and like have some very fiery se seductive passionate sex with you we saw that with the page of wands initially because they know it's going to be hard to get you to change your mind it's definitely hard without you um it's been tough without you because you, you are resourceful and an earth angel this is how they view you they know that you're deserving of so much more this person really messed up and they're kind of like seeing the air of their ways what do, what do the soulmate cards have to tell aquarius they want you to to know your dreams can come true if you have the courage to pursue them so whatever you're dreaming of aquarius it could definitely come true yeah look if you want to meet your soulmate just know when you meet them you'll feel calm no anxiety and no agitation so all of that jitty the jitters and the not knowing where you stand with this person if they like you if this up down you know none of that it's, you want to be calm. You're just going to feel at ease. You're going to be like, this, this is something. Yeah. This card flipped out. 
You want a person who comes into your life by accident but stays on purpose. Very nice. So you want somebody who, you know, you didn't go looking for them. They didn't go looking for you. It happened, okay? You were in the right place at the right time. It's something that you maybe even manifested. Um, they come into your life. They see what you're about. You see what they're about. And they stay because they want to be there. They desire to be there. They found something in you that uh, feeds their soul. So there's a need there. You want people to need you know, need to um, have you in their presence. Now, need in terms of um, material and basic needs, you know, money, clothing, and shelter. You know, you don't want anyone to need you for that, but you know, you you need that flame, you know, that, that fire to your soul, that, that person that uh, causes you to be better or pushes you to be better or pushes you to excel. And you wanna be that for that other person too. To want someone it's kind of whimsical you know it's it comes it goes you want ice cream now doesn't mean that you'll want ice cream in an, in an hour but if you need ice cream you need ice cream you know so you want somebody who's going to stay on purpose you want someone who's going to find a need for you in their life in their existence okay so um we want to kind of get out of our feelings and we want to start to get foundational and more concrete in our our relationships so you know that is that all right let's see what's going on in career and finance see if we can pull some cards for that career finance for Aquarius whoa look at this look at this look at this bam windfall Aquarius is a focus and yes it's coming in big money Big change, good luck, Psh. forgiveness. People are gonna be asking for your forgiveness. The universe wants you to forgive all that, all those who were against you, who talked against you, talked against your projects and your your uh, aspirations, your dreams, maybe even stole things from you. I heard intellectual property. There's big changes coming for you, Aquarius. You could be moving buying something big, something new. It's something that affects the family as a whole. It just doesn't affect you. Wow, Aquarius, nothing but good cards. Welcome. Focus, please. <laughs> Welcome the new Aquarius. All right, the same. It just does what it wants. All right, so welcome the new Aquarius. Well, it's just not focusing, right? So there's newness coming in for you. All things new. All things will be made new. All things renewed. Maybe you lost some things. You were down. You were out. You went through a really dark space, time, place in your life. And now is it's going to be the summertime in your life where you can kind of kick your feet up and relax just a bit, Aquarius. Yeah, it's going to be time for self-care. You have time for it. You'll have money for it. You'll have opportunity for self-care this is a great great financial reading Aquarius not too much bad in love it just seems as if someone else is in regret you don't have to deal with that however you deal with it um, what is the advice for Aquarius dealing with this person who wants to come back who is seeing the Aquarius differently now what is the advice love waiting Strong, magic, giving in reverse. All right, um, this person may have some type of illness or sickness. Now this could be in their physical body. This could be spiritually. This could even be mentally. Like they, they have something that they, they may need lots of help to recover from, okay? This person isn't well. The universe wants you to look at them through the eyes of love, okay? Inject love into the situation, okay? A universal love because it's pink. Um, so it's the love that, you know, you have for your fellow brother, your fellow sister, your fellow man. Um, it's not a lovey-dovey love. You know, it's not a romantic love. What you're waiting for is coming, Aquarius. Just be strong, all right? Because the magic is happening in your love life. 
giving in reverse. I don't think you need to really give anything to this person who is coming back because that's what we asked about. Give them love, but it's a platonic, it's a, um, a higher love. It's a love that you have for all, you know? Um, waiting, wait for the real thing to come into your life. Be strong. Don't let this person break down your barriers because the magic is happening in your love life. Again, stop giving to this person, this situation. It will not give back to you, okay? Uh, and this person has something that you cannot cure, okay? They're going to have to go on their own journey and figure themselves out, if ever, in this lifetime or the next. We don't know. We don't care. Um, yeah, this could be a masculine. Now, if you're in a same-sex relationship, it's just whomever shows up masculine, okay? Um, and if you're dealing with a woman, she could be in her masculine. Just a lot of thinking. Or this could just be a message for the masculine. You just need to stop giving to this, okay? Um, I think we're going to close it out there. Like, that's all we have, Aquarius. Oh, okay. I heard new love. Somebody said new love. It was like, wow. Is there new love coming in for Aquarius? Okay. Is there new love coming in for Aquarius? Is there new love coming in for the Aquarius collective? The Emperor. Dun, 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 dun. Yes. Scorpio, Taurus, Aries. Could be anyone. An older gentleman or somebody who appears older, established, firm, unmoving, unwavering, grounded, tenacious, tenacity. They've built something because the, the emperor is the square. So they have a foundation here. This could definitely be a new love affair. This person may have a lot of people after them, or you do. This could be a new love and a new marriage. This is coming for a lot of you later in life. Like you're not 20 something, like you might not even be 30, you know, it could be like 35 and up. We'll say that, but it could be, you know, this is like marriage and love later in life. And it kind of happens quickly. Again, magic. And this card can sometimes indicate magic. And this card, eight of pentacles says travel and marriage later in life because of your, maybe your tenacity, your prudence, your your um, the magic that you put out the um, this is the manifestation of something you did over and over again to bring in new love a new person page of page of cups you got the new like a new admirer secret admirer new boyfriend new girlfriend coming in this could be a husband Aquarius you have the king of cups and the emperor that to me, reads husband. Wow. And then you have the proposal showing up with the six of pentacles. There's somebody here who wants to please you. There's going to be somebody from the past who's going to be absolutely heartbroken. They could already be heartbroken, but they're so pig-headed, so, so wrapped in their ego that they, they can't even... They couldn't tell you this if they wanted to. They just think about you. They think about you coming back. They feel like if they think about you enough, if they just put it out into the universe enough, you'll show back up for them. But they have no intention of um, showing up for you or coming to you. Self-employment could be highlighted at this time. You need to network, put yourself out there. Every opportunity you have to talk about your business, the business of you, whatever you do, you need to talk about it. Heavenly signs are showing you that what you have been manifesting is here for you. It's here for the taking. Again, self-care. 
the universe is supporting you. You got somebody coming in here. They're going to bring you a lot of balance. It's a lot of balance, harmony. It just makes sense. You know, you guys are going to do something kind of systematic and you're both going to be very analytical about something making sense and being healthy. You could be dealing with a Gemini. Somebody has Gemini heavily aspected in their charts, in their birth chart. You deal with a Leo, anybody. I mean, everybody's here. So don't get caught up in the signs. This person is definitely going to propose something to you about making something real. They could even show their love and their devotion by way of gifts or trips. There's somebody going to be extremely heartbroken. Capricorn, Aquarius, Scorpio. Because they wanted to start something with you, but they didn't have enough. They couldn't get over their ego. Yeah. Aquarius, this looks really, really good. You got new love coming in. If you just keep pressing forward, there is someone old here and old love still stalking the readings. The energy is still there for them. I think they they want to keep it alive. Maybe you're trying to let it die. You're trying to get over it. You're trying to move forward. This is what it is. If it resonates for you, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comments section. Um, let's put some engagement rings down there in the comments section, guys. If, you, if you're trying to get married, let's put some engagement rings down there. If you want just a more committed relationship, maybe if you don't believe in traditional marriage, but you want something committed, put engagement rings down there, okay? Um, this is what I have for you. Go over to the website, book there, ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also uh, catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night. Come learn the Tarot with me. Tarot classes are linked below. Many blessings to you. Take care. Bye.